Thank you very much, Peter, for these great words. Um, it's breathtaking, you know, I can hardly continue after hearing so many great words about uh, chess, the game of chess, first of all, and about my chess career. So uh, I'm very proud and happy to be with you tonight. And uh, since I, this, this conference is, is, has a topic of publicity, I wanted to say a few words, feel obliged. So also I, I have very little idea about this subject. You know, for the last 20 years, my weight was virtually intact. I was told that you know, at age, you know, my age, I'm turning 40 in a month, so it doesn't matter, and I should watch myself in 10 years' time, but still I'm quite proud. So it's, uh, because chess, you know, no matter what, you know, what Peter said about the game of chess, game of chess always sort of was a, it's, it's a mysterious thing played somewhere in the dark corner of the cafe. The chess players, they, they had strange images, and it's very, very sad, in my opinion, that most of us learned about game of chess from great literature. And I have to tell you that, in my view, neither Nabokov in his Illusion Defense or Stefan Zweig in his chess novel uh, created a nice image of a chess player. So, so after reading this game, you don't want your kids to play chess. Yeah, but I think it's, it's, it's not wrong. And it's, I believe that the most important part of my challenge was in, 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 in my chess life was to prove that chess player's image could be different. We could be normal human beings, we belong to the mainstream, we are we're physically fit, and you know, I believe I could beat any golfer of my age, probably even younger in, 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 in a gym, you know, in, in any machine. So, uh, but it's, uh, and chess is not considered to be sport, while well, golf, golf does. Yeah, but, um, uh, <laughs> now we're not recognized as a sport, yeah. <laughs> That's serious, which I think it's, 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 it's wrong, of course. Uh, but what is, you know, just to, not to see chess as something that is, is not physical, something is not, that is not sport, something that is, is not bringing a lot of excitement and a lot of pressure on, on individuals that are competing, I could tell you that chess and obesity are absolutely incompatible. In my living memory, there were no overweight chess players on top 10, 20, or even top 100. So, uh, I don't, I, 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 it, it's not a scientific statement, I, you know, I beg your pardon. Yeah, I, 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 I'm just watching it and I, I trust my eyes, you know, more than special researchers. Um, so it probably gives you some ideas that chess, chess is a real sport. And I, I could tell you that playing serious competitions, I burn a lot of energy, I burn weight. So it's, it's always, you know, it's the, the end of the tough competition, it's minus one or two kilos. And while we are simply sitting at the board and just moving the pieces. But chess is sort of eating you alive, you know. You have a lot of nerve energy. And it's concentration not only for five, six hours. That's the length of the professional chess game. But it's also all day long before the game. And normally chess competition lasts for 10 to 20 days. So that's why for these 10 to 20 days, two to three weeks, you are fully absorbed by these thoughts. By You, you are under this pressure. You can't, you know, get rid of the, uh, you rid of this pressure. You can't get off the hook. So that's why playing chess requires a lot of physical fitness. And uh, I also uh, you know, feel that it's, for me it's, it's vitally important because I learned from my early childhood that it's, it's, it's all about us. It's all about our determination and our ability to fight. And thanks to my greatest teacher and greatest friend, my mother, that taught me from my early days and is still supporting me today just to remind me that even 40 is not, not the age to quit. I look at her and I recognize that, you know, I'm young enough. I have to fight younger kids. Chess, by the way, it's also another misconception. Chess is a very young game. The average age of top 10 is 25. I'm playing kids now that were even, some of them were born after I won my world title in 85. So in a few months time, I will play the world title match with a kid who is, you know, half of my age. He'll be turning 20 and I will be 40 at that time. And still I feel strong. And it was what's important is determination. It's, it's all, at one point when I was uh, um, a world champion, when I won my title at age 22, uh, and I had, a, I had a press conference, the first press conference, and people asked me about my future plans. And I said, oh, maybe at age 30 I would quit. <laughs> no, I'm 40 and I think I know, I was a kid, you know, what, how can you judge my words seriously? Now, I couldn't realize there was a life after 30, and of course, I couldn't think about life after 40 at, at that time. 
Now I believe it's, it's very important to, to be determined to prove something. And people always ask me, Mr. Kasparov, why, why are you continuing playing? You proved everything. You won more titles than any living player and all, probably anyone in the history of chess. You set up all the records that ever existed in the chess. Probably none of them will be ever beaten. So uh, you dominated chess for so many years. Why are you still there? And I think it's, 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 it's something inside of us. As long as we are, we are in love with what we're doing, as long as we have the passion to work on something, for me to work on chess, to find new ideas, to fight players, especially younger players, as long as we want to be competitive and it gives us extra confidence, we are in business. And I, you know, I, I, I heard a lot of words from Peter about, you know, this connection or strategical vision that chess could bring to the fight against obesity. And I believe that obesity is, 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 is a psychological issue. Of course, it's not a lip service that people pay in the McDonald's, you know, give me Big Mac and Diet Coke. Uh, it's, 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 a serious, it's, it's a serious psychological fight. And I think that obesity has any other theme, or quote in quote theme, because people, you know, politically is incorrect, but we're not in the States, so I could say it. Uh, yeah, yeah. And as many bad habits, it's, it's, it's inside of us. And it's, it's, it's not about the drug. I believe, you know, you produce a great drug. So it could help people, but only help people. It's, the drugs do not create miracles. And at the end of the day, it may help our determination to fight. And I wanted to, to, to tell you tonight that it's, it's any challenge, any psychological challenge, any challenge we're facing, it's for us to lose. It's all for us to make the difference. And I believe that the human determination and ability to fight has no limits sky's the limit and I hope that my chess career proved it and I'm going to prove it continue doing so and I hope that even at age 40 I will be sending the right signals to all generations that we're out when we believe we're out and as long as we believe we're in we're in business thank you very much Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, it's your turn. You have